What's up you guys? This is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review War Dogs. So War Dogs is written and directed by Todd Phillips, the same guy that brought you movies like The Hangover Trilogy and Due Date. The film stars Jonah Hill, Miles Teller, and Bradley Cooper. And War Dogs is based on a true story about these two 20-year-old guys that have a business of selling guns to the military. Miles Teller, you know, he used to have this life where he was just massaging people. He got sick and tired of that life. So now he teams up with Jonah Hill, gets in his business with him. But then, of course, as you can expect, the business that Jonah Hill and Miles Teller are in aren't exactly going as well as they may have thought it was going to. War Dogs is a film I was actually really looking forward to, honestly, and I'm not really a huge fan of Todd Phillips' movie, so for me to say I was actually looking forward to this movie really is saying something, because honestly, look, I like the first Hangover. I think that's a good comedy. But then two wasn't good. Three was better than two, I'll say that, but it still wasn't a good movie. And Due Date was just plain old forgettable. Coming out of War Dogs, I'm so happy to say this is a film from Todd Phillips I actually think is really, really awesome. I would even say I liked it more than The Hangover, and that's saying something, because I actually enjoyed The Hangover, but War Dogs was really entertaining, and I just had a blast with it. Before, of course, I do get into my positives, I'm actually going to start off with my negatives this time. Yeah, I know, in your reviews, you normally wait until you discuss the negatives last, but I figured for this review, it actually makes sense for me to start off with my negatives. So, here are my problems straight off the bat with War Dogs. Not too many problems, of course, but I will say, after the opening scene of this film, the film does start off very rough. Because I liked how this film opened, then once we see Miles Teller for the first time, that's when the rough start actually started in my opinion and I just wasn't finding myself getting into it so I was hoping that the film would get better and yeah I was getting a little bit bored that's where I do feel like the pacing was honestly rather slow and that's where I do feel like the pacing is rather sluggish because you know I just wasn't getting all that into it then Jonah Hill shows up and the film got a little bit better it was still trying to find its footing but it did get a little bit better once you see Jonah Hill for the first time also Miles Teller he does do his narration with this film and sometimes I didn't mind it but other times I didn't really think it was necessary and all Although this film is marketed as a comedy, it really isn't a full-on comedy. Yes, there are some funny parts, and when they attempt at comedy, sometimes it is funny. Other times they attempt at it, it's whatever. After that rough start that this film had, once Jonah Hill and Miles Teller go to the airport because of some business they need to take care of, that's when War Dogs really, really finds its footing. And starting from that scene all the way to the end, War Dogs was very intense, was very gripping. Now normally when you go into a movie expecting a comedy when the movie really isn't a flung comedy, that could be disappointing. But I was so fascinated by the storyline of War Dogs. I was so engaged by what was happening, that I was actually fine. I was actually okay with this not even being a full-on comedy. I actually didn't care that it was not really a comedy, honestly, because I was just really interested in what was going on. I cared about what was happening. And this is one of those cases where I cared more about the storyline, more about what was happening than the actual humor. Of course, even for a comedy, you still want your storyline to be number one, then comedy second. But in this case, you know, I actually cared more about what was going on rather than when they tried sometimes to attempt at humor. Jonah Hill and Miles Teller act very well in this film. They're both great. They both interact with each other very well. Jonah Hill playing the asshole. Like, he plays in quite a bit of movies, but he's Jonah Hill and he nails this role. And you could tell he embraces the role. He has fun with it. I mean, the dude you can tell is so committed. He actually had to gain weight for this role. When he's playing the obnoxious guy, he's funny, he knows that. But definitely, when he knows the serious moments in this film, 
he nails those serious moments well. Jonah Hill has showed us since Moneyball that he can do a dramatic role. And there's definitely moments where you have your Jonah Hill funny moments, but for the most part, you actually do get your serious, dramatic Jonah Hill, and that was very awesome. Miles Teller, you know, same thing goes to him. I thought he acted his dramatic part very well because you can tell that he was against doing this, but Miles Teller, the things he's doing, he is doing because he wants to be able to support for his family, but he doesn't want to do it because of how dangerous this whole business is. The movie attempts more at comedy when you're at the beginning. Like, I would say that's where more of the comedic stuff happens, whether it worked or not. I would say most of the comedic stuff comes from the beginning. Then as War Dogs is just moving along, it just gets darker, darker, more serious, more serious, more dramatic, and I was just like, wow. I was actually quite blown away by how more serious it was getting. And War Dogs is one of those films where it actually gets consistently better and better as it goes along. Like I said, after the opening scene, which I really liked, the movie had a very rough patch. It took a while for this film to find its footing. Then once it finds its footing, which is once Jonah Hill and Miles Teller go to that airport, the movie gets better. And as the movie goes along, it just gets better by scene, by scene, by scene, by scene, until you get to the ending, and it's just so awesome. And credit to Todd Phillips, because he did a really good job writing this film, first of all. I thought the writing in this film was really great. It was really top-notch, and it really showed the talent that Todd Phillips has. And I always knew Todd Phillips had talent. It's just that the films that he has been directing, aside from like The Hangover, the first film, they haven't really been that good, but I'm glad a film like War Dogs actually shows that Todd Phillips can really show more of the talent that he has. He really directs the dramatic stuff very well, which really impressed me. And I could actually see Todd Phillips doing more dramatic work in the future because for what I see in the War Dogs, the way he directs his actors to act all serious, the way he even wrote the dramatic scenes in the script was all executed very well. It never fell out of place in my opinion. This is a two hour long film and I never found myself bored. Of course, after like the first 20 25 or 30 minutes it never really bored me honestly but I can see how other people can say yeah this film does drag on for too long because they really do make it storyline heavy it really is about the storyline and what these guys are going through you do have Bradley Cooper in this minor role that I'm not gonna say any more about all I'm gonna say is that Bradley Cooper he did a great job acting in this film and even all the other side characters like say with Miles Teller's girlfriend played by Ana de Admas. I thought she did a really good job playing that role. And then there's also side characters just throughout War Dogs that I thought actually acted in this film very well. But I do have to say, out of all of Todd Phillips' films, War Dogs has by far the best cinematography in a Todd Phillips movie, in my opinion. I just thought the shots were more sharper, it was a little bit more cleaner, and the music choices played throughout War Dogs was really great. I that each of the music choices they had to bring this fun style to the movie was honestly really fun in my opinion. The film has a blend of a fun tone, but it also has this more serious tone at the same time. So overall, you guys, I thought War Dogs is a very great movie. Just don't go into this expecting like a full-on comedy because it's not a full-on comedy. You do still have your comedy from time to time, but for the most part, it's more of a serious storyline with these characters. I was honestly very impressed with what Todd Phillips had to bring to this film, and I hope if he does more films like this, or if he does comedies that are actually good in my opinion. You know, I could see myself becoming more of a fan of Todd Phillips in the future. This was a great film by Todd Phillips. I was impressed by the performances, the cinematography, the direction, the writing, how serious and intense the film actually got because I actually wasn't expecting it to get at that level of seriousness, but it was handled so well. War Dogs, in my opinion, is one of the best films of the summer. I'm gonna give War Dogs three and a half out of four stars.
So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about War Dogs and what's your favorite film by director and writer Todd Phillips so far. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.